It's a 30 minute game. This castle.
looks like they've left the game. That was quite intense. Okay, take a look at the analysis on that. Okay, I don't think we were majorly winning. We were trying to attempt to find good positions as we were going through, but the opponent looked like they understood the squishing of the king aspect. So we came through and nice steady development. Okay, yes, so at this point here, I mean, they're, they're winning. And they push the pawn. We attack the bishop because we like this sort of maneuver. Making space for our rook. Oh, well, kind of out and out winning here. But I don't think we took full advantage of that out and out win. But felt okay within the game. So we attack the bishop. And again, it's showing there must be a move that I needed to have done. Is it this? Make can't be this, can it? Because the knight's not got any support. So it can't be that. Is it the pawn push? Is it taking the bishop? Um, no. I think there was a move before then, wasn't it? Where it was showing that we were out and out winning. There, out and out winning. Interesting. Bishop taking. Oh, it's not showing we're losing. Interesting. So if they did take, then. So what happened? Oh, we've got the check with the rook. So we'd be able to come here, won't we? Ah, oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. We didn't see that, obviously. <laughs> Oh, yeah, nice touch. Right, let's go. So we push through the center. So at the moment, still winning, even though we've allowed this bishop to escape. Maybe we should have taken the bishop, but I was thinking, let's make more space towards the king area. So taking the pawn, because the queen is still covered from the knight, so we could have taken the bishop, really. I just didn't want any shenanigans, but... Um, I left it feeling like I was being a bit clever. Okay, so it dropped. So they saved the bishop and brought it back. We captured. So we're having to work a little bit harder. So two key points there. We had a nice squish of the king earlier on with the bishop sacrifice. And then we could have taken the bishop off the board. Simple things that us as beginners in chess, <laughs> um, we miss and we try to develop as we're going through within our um, game so it's constantly evaluating your games having a look at them having a look at what the engine's suggesting if it's not your bag and you don't really like playing like that just yet then stick with as we were playing here nice steady game just to wear the opponent down or to basically just practice the movements of the pieces and working the team together as best possible so there's nothing wrong with going for these longer play games look at the evaluation look at those lovely stinging moves that they they operate and they'll start to come into your game eventually so there's no rush so they captured and we brought our knight back so at the money it's um, plus point point two that's nothing really in fact it's a draw in a sense queen comes down we bring our knight up uh, we're looking to basically try and put some pressure on this pawn here also got sights of this pawn as well with the knight at some stage but looking to block off their knight so it's nice long drawn out process now so the queen's look, looking towards the attacking the king area but it's looking sights of here just in case the rook decides to take itself off of the center but it doesn't do that so we grab the knight anyway so it's making a bit of space towards their king area so in essence the king is home alone at this moment in time because his pieces are on the other side of the board so we attack and doesn't like our attack the evaluation bar doesn't like the queen check so when you go through the process of checks, captures, threats, supporting, blocking, etc, etc, it does say put checks in first. 
but on this occasion it's basically going well what have you put that check in there for so it's almost saying it's a nugatory check so you have to weigh up what is an important check and what isn't an important check so you can't always go with oh well I'll put a check on the king but we did because we wanted to unsettle them we wanted to win a tempo so that's why we did it but based on the evaluation there was a better move what was the better move can we see that knight d3 now you see if you go knight d3 what happens the rook takes the knight yeah so if the rook takes the knight then we win the rook because then we got the check on the king at the same time fancy maneuvers like that those are the types of things that will start to kick into your game as you're developing but for now don't think about that okay we went for whoops we went for simple check on the king so that's i think there's three cases here where you could go all fancy and arty within this particular game here but we've chosen the simpler route keeping it nice and simple straightforward so we've put the check on the king we've brought the knight down so it's minus um 0 0.5 at the minute so we brought the knight down eventually but not for the case of what they showed earlier so now they're putting a check on our queen so we're looking to exchange keeping it all simple nothing grandiose it's still minus 0.8 at the minute uh, no, minus 1.2 now. So in essence, the opponent should have won out in this case. We want to own the file as we do with the rooks. And the knight comes down, greedy munching for a pawn. But we're looking for a better position on the board. As positional players, we're looking for that better position. Knight comes up looking to protect this pawn here. And we can grab this pawn in the meantime our plan is to go for a back rank checkmate so we bring our rook up and this pawn here at the minute isn't really going to cause our king any trouble as far as we could see if we could bring our knight here to get rid of this knight so if the knight did take then we'd be able to get a, check, a back rank checkmate because his rook is blocking his king if his rook was here then we wouldn't get a back rank checkmate and it'd be a draw so we bring the knight down attacking the knight and they see this so basically we just take the knight off the board and then they resign well they left the game at that point so as we mentioned i think three key points in this particular game that you can start putting into your own games when you're looking at your own evaluation of your games Take them with a pinch of salt at the, f at the beginning because obviously you're not going to get it ingrained into your games. But as you're doing more evaluations of your games, take a look at each step and say, well, how can I sort of put that into my game? If you don't like what the evaluation is saying, factor in your own style, your own system within that um, area. And it might just be a simpler version of what they're attempting to do. Okay, so as we mentioned here, now that we've got this um, half open file, which we created quite nicely for ourselves, we could have been taking advantage of that. By grabbing here, if the king takes, then we can get the bishop off the board. Yep, so the king probably goes back and then we get the bishop off the board. Or we could have gone, we could have gone loads of ways, different ways. Yep, so many, many avenues because the queen can take, but obviously his knight would take, so we wouldn't really want to do that. But the knight could take again with a check on his queen, but that's not a good one. You notice how the gauge bar went down, so it's a good job we're testing that out. So bringing the knight round is the better option. Yep, so playing around with the evaluation of your own games, your own games, I say, not grandmaster games or anything like that, your own games, so that you get a good understanding of what you can do in your games, what you like to do, what you don't like to do, taking your skills a little bit further every time, your own personal skills. So we attacked the bishop, uh, so that was the one situation that we missed there but we could have taken advantage of now that we know this sort of thing so we push through the center and then again a simple capturing of the bishop would have been great 
Yep, so because the queen is covered, it can't come here and put a check on. I'd have to do a bit of work to get that position. So again, nice and simple. And the last one was just creeping it through. Well, I think that was the whole all, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to do there. So they do capture. And it's saying there's something else that could be done here. Um, but obviously, did we cover that? Don't think we covered that one, did we? Tack in the knight, just to make sure that it actually moves out of the way. Okay, fair enough. Right, attacking the knight. Uh, we captured the knight, so it really didn't make no difference.